I'm from New Zealand. I did my undergraduate degree in optical electronics at Auckland University and then went and worked as an optical engineer at Vodafone for about three years. And over the course of that three years, while I loved that job and I loved the people that I worked with and I found it endlessly fascinating, I also realised that after three years I had reached the end of the technical ability that I would develop in that role. And so I thought, okay, well, what I'm actually interested in is the research and development side of this telecommunications equipment. So how do I get that job? How do I do that thing? And so I had a look at some jobs online and they all said the same thing, which was get 20 years of experience working in the field or go and get a PhD. So I'm gonna go and do a PhD. I started looking around at different English universities and found uh, Bristol and found my supervisor here, chatted to some of her PhD students. Always good to find out whether or not a supervisor is good by talking to their PhD students. But yeah, it all stems from the fact that to get the career that I wanted, I needed to do a PhD. After my PhD, I joined BT. I work as a researcher in the optical networks and quantum research team. Those research skills that you develop over the course of your PhD, I would use those on a daily basis. PhDs are very good at teaching you time management, particularly because it's one project for such a long period of time. So to be able to stay motivated, to see that end goal, to break that down into not only months, but years worth of work, I think is a very helpful skill to have in the workplace. I think when you start a PhD, it can be very easy to be intimidated by the people that you're working with. And then very quickly you realise that it's an incredibly supportive environment to be in and that it's okay to say that you've got no idea what someone's just said and can they re-explain it in a way that makes sense. And that's, I think, something that really surprised me about the PhD and also just research in general is that you, you look at these people on paper and they're so impressive and then you actually meet them in person and you realise that they're just really cool people who want to see you succeed. If I've learned anything from doing the PhD, it is talk to everybody about anything. Talk to them about what they're passionate in, take the time to have the conversation. You will inevitably learn something new, even if it's just a new relationship. Go to conferences, go to student get-togethers, go to faculty get-togethers, join clubs, join whatever it is, but find that group of people and just chat about your work, about your research, about your future plans. Who knows, you might start a new company or find a new idea. <laughs>